Dear students, I am Dr. A. Nirmala, Assistant Professor, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous, Color 1. In this session, we will discuss about the different states of a process and process management in operating system. Process management. Process management keeps track of all the process which are in the running state and which are in the ready state, block state, scheduled st or dispatch state. Process management. The process management has a process ID for process ID for each process. There will be a different states of a process. The process control block give information about the in inside give information about the process. For example, which process will be in the block state, which process in the running state, which process in the ready state. So the process related information will be stored inside the process control block. Process control block is created when the user creates a process and it is removed when the process is killed. The three basic states of process are running state, ready state, block state. Running state, a process which is inside executed currently by the CPU or said to be the running state. A ready state, the process which is not involved in any I.O. operation and it is waiting for the CPU and the specific process are set to be ready state. Block state, the process which are all involved in the I.O. operation are block state or set to be in block state. Suppose the process get executor in the CPU in that time if it need any IO operation means it, it is involved in any IO operation the, the particular process can be moved from the running state to the blocked state then after completion of the IO in IO operation the specific process will move from blocked state to the running state. The process which are ready to involved in the running state means it can be moved only from ready state to the running state and it can be explained by the process state transition diagram. The process state transition diagram represent that is the transition of the process from one state to the another state is called process state transition. For example, the process which are in the ready state only can move to the running state. Before the completion, the sometimes we will assign time for each process in the processor. If the time get expire, the specific process which is inside the CPU or which is in the running state after the time expire, again it will be moved to the ready state. Sometimes the process which are involved in the running state and it will get executed and, ex and it process is completed and it will, and it will be entered, that is kill a process or halt a process, it will be entered into the terminated state. Suppose when the process while it is executing in the running state, it is involved a specific process involved in IO operation means it will be returned to the blocked state. In the blocked state, after completion of the in IO operation, then the after completion of IO completion, it will be moved from the blocked state to the ready state. For example, 
here in the above process transition diagram the process which is moved to the running state always it will be taken place from running state for example moving from ready state to running state it will be dispatched in the running state the time slice that will be in the ready state more than uh, five process is waiting in the ready state the time slot will be allotted for each process for example consider 5 milliseconds after the uh, in between this uh, milliseconds the process try to complete the its execution if it is gets completed means it will be gets turned to the terminator state suppose the process does not finish execution but the time slice expire they return back to the ready state here the now here the allotment of time flies based on the round robin method so the process that that is the transition of the process from one state to another state will be happen in the same manner in this there will be the round robin method is followed the each process in the each process given time slice when the time slice expired for each process it is always put in the ready state because it is not waiting for any other external event such as it is not wait for any io operation it is need only for the it is only wait for only for the to run run on the cpu there will be various systems calls for process state transition admit when the new process the new process can be enter into the ready state dispatch means the process which is in the ready state it should be moved on to the running state is called dispatch state the process which is getting executed in the running state based on the round robin method the time slice expire but still the execution is not completed again it is not and also it's not involved in any io operation again it should be due to the time up it will be moved on to the ready state so from the running state to ready state it should be moved it should be called as time up and then sometimes the process which is in the running state it should be involved in the io operation if any process involved in io operation means it can be get suspended and it should be moved on to the block the state after the completion of io operation it should be wake up and move on to the ready state so in the in the running state it should be moved on to the block state that is the block wake up means the the process which is in in the block states are involved in io operation after completion of io operation it will be make up wake up and it will be moved on to the ready state halt the process which is in the running state after execution it will be moved on to the terminated state so the the most three important states are ready state running state blocked state ready state means the process does not involved in any other operation that is io operation it is waiting only for the running state cpu scheduling so it should be from the wait ready state it to be, it should be moved on to the running state running state means the process which is scheduled in the cpu scheduler means it should be called as running state the process which is involved in the io operation means it should be in the block state i hope you understood very well thank you